people been waiting for this day. So apparently in the iOS 17.2 beta code, there are hints that Apple is going to allow users to sideload apps from outside the App Store. And this is an exclusive from 9to5Mac, so it's very likely that this will happen. So let's just dive right in. What is sideloading? Basically, sideloading is installing apps obtained from third-party sources instead of an official source. So the official source in this case would be the App Store. If this is to go through, this will allow users to install apps from, let's say, the Epic Game Store or whichever other game store, or even whichever other app uh, that is available. So why is Apple doing this? The European Union last year passed the Digital Markets Act or DMA, which is antitrust legislation so that big tech companies do not use their advantages to undermine competition. And one of those requirements is to allow users to install any apps they want from third party sources. It's important to note that this feature seems to be locked towards users in Europe. So let's see why that is the case, right? So iOS 17.2 has a new public framework called Manage App Distribution. So this is different from enterprise apps that you would get from your job. Uh, that way they have apps that are installed to monitor what you are doing with the company devices. What 9to5Mac has done is that they dig further into this API and they found an unused entitlement that will give third-party apps permission to install other apps. So any developers would be able to create their own app stores, advertise it, and get users to install their apps from their app store. Now we also know that there are region locks in this API. So Apple is likely going to restrict it to countries in the European Union or other countries that would allow users to install apps from outside of the app store. iOS 17.2 is in beta right now and it should be released probably by the end of the year or maybe by the beginning of next year. And why is that the case? Because Apple is required to comply with the DMA legislation by March of 2024, so right around the corner. Of course, Apple also appealed to the EU about including the App Store in the DMA. And obviously that's no surprise because Apple gets 30% cut from whatever in-app purchases users make on the apps, which apparently is a lot of money. So Apple has a vested interest in not allowing this to happen. So what are my thoughts on this? I think it's a good idea for users to have the option to do it. I don't know how well Apple is going to advertise this though. So it's likely you're going to have to find someone who's tech savvy or go to one of these tech sites like 9to5Mac. However, on the other side, I can see that this could potentially be abused. What do I mean by that? Well, it could mean that these apps probably do things that if those apps were on the app store, they probably would have been kicked out. So it's going to be very interesting to see what kinds of apps come out from this and whether or not that users will actually switch over to third-party app stores or just use Apple's app stores. I think mostly the techie side of the Apple fan base is going to use this. However, when it comes to mom and pop, grandparents, they're probably just going to stick to the app store because that's what they know and it's easy to install apps 
from there. Will this happen in the United States? Not likely. We do have some antitrust legislation that is being drafted, but it's been swept under the rug because of other, I guess, priorities. So, and it's election season here, so that is not as big of a deal as it was maybe two years ago. For those who live in the EU or any other countries that would allow users to install apps from third-party sources, would you be open to do this? Let me know in the comments. Remember, all engagement is good engagement. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.